Hi guys, hope you are doing well. Welcome back to my channel. It's Miss Henry. Back again with a new video. If you're new here, karibu sana. If you're a returning subscriber, you are always my best friend. And in today's video, guys, I'm back with another breakfast recipe. I feel that I'm helping some people to have this breakfast recipe because sometimes you wake up, you don't know what to prepare. And I think I'll be here for you, giving you more and more breakfast recipes, guys. And also, guys, today I have a plug for you. <laughs> Guess what, guys? I got a set of knives. I got my set of knives. I've been looking for this set of knives for a while now. Actually, I got them. Not that I didn't get them. I used to get them. But the prices were a bit high. So, I was like, I'll window shop until I get an affordable price. And guys, I got an affordable price. And I'm here ready to plug you guys. So, stay tuned until the end. Don't forget to subscribe, like, share, and comment. Just give this video a thumbs up. A thumbs up is a like. It means a lot, a lot for this channel. And guys, without further ado, let's go straight to the video. Up in the sky, I need you to listen. I need you to hear. And don't show I'll start by preparing my sausages. I'm poking my sausages because this usually helps prevent or reduce the amount of oil that will splash out when I'm frying these sausages. Guys, do you usually poke your sausages before you fry them? And if you do, do they reduce the amount of oil they splash when cooking them? Just comment below and let me know. Once that's ready, I'm going to put that aside and place some oil on the cooker preheat it a bit and then place the sausages inside the oil just put enough oil not a lot not too little just enough then place your sausages inside the oil before it's very hot because this reduces also the amount of oil to be splashed during frying your sausages then after some time Keep turning your sausages as so to avoid them burning one side. Now my sausages are ready, I'll put that aside. All around the globe, trying to protect. I will then prepare my eggs. Today I'm preparing three eggs. I'll then add black pepper and salt to taste. And then whisk that together so that it can mix well. Then add a little bit of milk. Whisk that together. Then once that's ready, I'm going to prepare my bread. For this bread, you can either choose to cut off the crust or just use the bread with the crust. So mine, I decided to use the bread with the crust because when I removed the crust on the sides, it was becoming too small and I wanted it in a bigger, better size. And then flatten the bread using the <laughs> the roller as I'm doing. This helps the bread to be very very thin. Once that's done, I'll pick my sausages, then roll it in between the bread that I've thinned with the roller. But before that, I'll apply butter. <laughs> I didn't have enough time to melt my butter so bear with me i'm just going to use the butter as it is then seal the bread seal the sausage inside the bread using the whisked raw egg do that for the rest of your bread ready to explore right up in the sky i need you to listen i need you to hear and don't show Your 
if you are a cheese lover you can also use cheese I used cheese for one slice of bread because I had a piece of cheese remaining in my fridge so once that's ready I'm going to use the oil that I used when preparing my sausages to prepare the bread so this is what happens here I'll take one roll of the bread and dip it inside the egg the whisked egg the mixture of the whisked egg roll it inside so that it can get enough egg solution and then after that I'm going to dip it inside the hot oil on my cooker like so dip a few number of bread because it's like you are making a, a sausage roll out of the bread allow them some time to cook if you want them crusty give them more time if you don't want them crusty don't give don't allow them cook for a lot of time just give it a few seconds to cook but if you want it crusty well and good give it more time from london to simon i've been all around the globe and then remember to keep turning them and guys imagine all these ingredients you can get them at the doorstep at your doorstep guys so by now they are ready i'll put them aside look how yummy they are the streets are empty the only thing i can see is my own silhouette i'm getting it's that easy guys it's that easy so I noticed I had more eggs, so I had to prepare more bread for the egg. And then guys, after that was done, I had to prepare my African tea as usual. In less than 10 minutes, my breakfast is ready. Look how yummy the bread is. Look how yummy that looks. How yummy is it, guys? It's so yummy. It's so easy to prepare. In less than 10 minutes, you can have this ready for you and your family. Every ingredient used in this recipe is just at the doorstep market. Just next, the next market at your door. So guys, you don't have any excuse. Try this recipe and let me know how it takes you. You can make a sausage roll from a bread. Right? Just see that. And guys, this is the knife that I was talking about. I'm here to plug you from where I got these knives. I already opened these knives because I was so curious. I wanted to see how they look. But guys, let me show you. This set of knife comes in two colors, white color. And this is how it looks and the black looks like this so for me i chose the black color and this is how it looks so this is the set of knives there are five of them this is the first knife it's very sharp guys and i truly truly love it look how it it looks so cute so nice look at the white patches oh then the second knife is the serrated knife it's a bread knife and the handle guys hey look at that they are so cute just comment below let me know how the knife looks and then this is the third knife i think this is the biggest knife this is the largest this is how it looks and guys these knives are very very sharp actually i fear that they don't cut me because they are very sharp and guys this is the small knife it's also sharp the handle is cute the knife is cute i love it i love them guys 
and then i have the last knife the last piece which is the smallest this is the smallest piece it also looks cute and sharp so and finally i have a potato pillar this is how it looks it's sharp and i love it i love the color actually i love how it looks black and white so that's the set it has five knives and one potato pillar so i'm going to just keep that aside i'll clean it later and also i got a salt shake this was for 500 shillings and guys the set of knives was 2500 i'm going to link the shop that i got these items from it's not a paid promotion but guys they have legit items they have legit utensils and guys we have come to the end of the video i hope the video was helpful to you please comment give this video a thumbs up and until the next video please and don't forget to take care of yourselves bye bye and don't show anything I've been flying